just dabbing, dabbing and moving. Okay, so now we've got, I decided to try some angle iron instead of the steel plating to extend the, the area for this post to fit into, right? So I clamped up, as you can see, I clamped up some angle iron right here, okay? Clamped on there on both sides and it's flush here and on the inside it's flush which makes it much easier for welding I can just weld I can weld right along that seam right there I can weld right along this seam and just hit up the tick welder right along this whole seam here you got about whatever this height is plus another one all the way down there and the seam is flush right there so I'll take all this off. You can see right there that seam as well all along this seam here. The two pieces of angle iron. And I already measured so that I can drill a hole in the top piece of angle iron and the bottom one. So we have two holes to fit at least two holes on the uh, stem on the up seat. Now I may have to cut that stem down to size and and I got the battery in for the helmet. I went over to the store and picked up the battery. So this bad boy is working now. Yep, it turned dark and came back. See that? Pretty cool. So that's how you test it. Press the little test button. Which for some reason is being difficult. And that's it. So you see it turned dark, came back. That means the battery's good. Okay, so before we weld the the uh, work piece, we're going to try it out on this very similar piece of angle iron. It's always a good idea to try it out, test test your weld. So I'm just, I have the, the TIG welder set at 50 amps. And to be honest with you, this is about an eighth of an inch thick stuff. So I don't, I could go look it up, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to kind of guess at 50 amps. Hit this real quick over here on the end and just see how the, how it pulls up. You see how long it takes to get the metal melted. And, uh, and I'll know whether to make an adjustment or not. So we're using a pedal. We can pedal on, pedal off. Nice. If this goes well, then we'll weld up. We'll weld up that piece right there. I'm just dabbing, dabbing and moving. Okay, so now I want to show you the difference between, you know, a weld that's not hot enough, and not enough amp current going through it. This weld here was done at about, uh, some of it over here was done at, at 75. You can see how poor it is. It's just not deep enough, kind of, the width of the weld is too narrow. I had, the, the torch had to sit there for a long time. Then over here, you can see it's a little bit better. And that's at about 95 amps. And I was still having to move the torch pretty slow and and I still, the, the width of the uh, weld is too narrow. So then I got up to 115 amps, which is, you know, much better. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's a great weld, but it's pretty decent. Now my my torch is not liquid cooled, so I can't sit at 115 amps for very long. So I had to kind of hit that, you know, moving along at a decent pace. The electrode, it gets hot, you know, it's gonna melt if you, Sit there too long because I'm, I'm pushing the I'm pushing the torch air cooled you know right up at its maximum. So uh, I haven't let that baby sit there and cool down. When you don't have enough amps, you'll know right you'll know it's right away. 75 amps, 95 amps, 115 amps. To be truth, to be honest with you, this could probably be about 130 amps. Get a little bit wider bead. And you can move along pretty quick, but like I said, my torch is air cooled, so I'm kind of pushing already. So I think I'm gonna be okay here. And um, I hit this section. I'm gonna come back and hit this section again, but you know, I alternate sides and not stay on stay on the seam too long, so you don't distort the metal. You know. Once I'm done with this side, I'll flip it over, and we'll do the other side. All right, we got power. Here we go.
away from that stinky gas being released from the metal. Okay, that's the end of part two. We'll probably have a part three, maybe a part four. Hope you enjoyed the TIG welding you saw today. I'm really enjoying this little project for my mom and her husband. Uh, listen, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, go ahead and click subscribe right now. And while you're at it, click the notification bell so you can keep up with all the videos as they come out. I also would really appreciate if you click that thumbs up. Helps grow the channel. We'll talk to you all again real soon next time.